Hello friends, sinusitis is a name that you would have heard or experienced personally. It is estimated that one in every eight people have chronic sinusitis. In the present environment of pollution and allergies, sinusitis is a common discomfort. There are people who suffer from sinusitis for many years altogether. In today's video, we will talk about sinusitis its symptoms, causes and some very effective homeopathic remedies which can help in both acute and chronic conditions. Disclaimer: This video contains information on homeopathic remedy. The purpose of creating this video is to spread information and knowledge about this remedy. We strongly discourage any self-consumption of medicine without a qualified doctor's consultation. Hello from Visual Designers. Myself, Dr. Dimpal Dalal. Let's first discuss what is sinusitis. Sinusitis is a common condition defined as inflammation of paranasal sinuses. So what is sinus? A sinus is a hollow space in the body. There are many types of sinuses, but sinusitis affects the paranasal sinuses, the space behind the face that lead to nasal cavity. Paranasal sinuses are a group of four paired air-filled spaces that surround the nasal cavity. The maxillary sinuses are located under the eyes. The frontal sinuses are above the eyes. The ethmoidal sinuses are between the eyes and the sphenoidal sinuses are behind the eyes. These sinuses produce a slimy secretion called mucus. This mucus plays a very important role in keeping the nasal passage moist and traps the dirt particles and germs. We say that a person is suffering from sinusitis when mucus builds up and the sinus becomes irritated and inflamed. Sinusitis can be acute or chronic. Acute sinusitis is temporary and can happen when a person has a cold or seasonal allergies. Symptoms usually go away within 7 to 10 days but can last up to 4 weeks. Chronic sinusitis is when symptoms last more than 12 weeks or return 3 times within a year. So what are the symptoms of sinusitis? When can we say that the person is suffering from sinusitis? The symptoms include nasal discharge which may be green or yellow. A post nasal drip where mucus runs down the back of the throat facial pain or pressure, blocked or runny nose, sore throat, cough, bad breath, fever, headaches, a reduced sense of smell and taste, tenderness and swelling around eyes, nose, cheeks and forehead. If you are experiencing any of these symptoms, then it can be because of sinusitis. So now we come to a very important question, what are the causes of sinusitis? Sinusitis can stem from various factors, but it always results from fluid becoming trapped in the sinuses, allowing germs to grow. The most common cause is a virus, but bacterial infection can also lead to sinusitis. Triggers can include allergies and asthmas, as well as pollutants in the air such as chemicals or other irritants. Certain type of people are at higher risk of developing sinusitis. This include people having a previous respiratory tract infection such as cold, having nasal polyps which are small benign growths in the nasal passage that can lead to obstruction and inflammation, having seasonal allergies, having sensitivity to substances such as dust, pollen and animal hair, having a weakened immune system due to medication or a health condition or having a deviated septum. Now we will discuss some very effective homeopathic remedies for sinusitis. First is arsenic. There is sneezing without relief. Nose feels stopped up. The discharge is thin, watery and excoriating. There is burning and bleeding. Coryza is worse in open air and is better indoors. Second is Belladonna. It is useful in acute condition. The main cause is exposure to cold. 
there is coryza and mucus is mixed with blood bleeding of nose with red face there is inflammatory swelling and redness of external and internal nose patient feels heaviness and congestion with burning in nose fluent coryza of one nostril alternating with stoppage of the nose coryza may be associated with headache which is worse on right side and while lying down third is kali bicromicum there is coryza with obstruction of nose patient complains of violent sneezing there is profuse watery nasal discharge chronic inflammation of frontal sinus with stopped up sensation patient experience pressure and pain at root of nose and sticking pain in nose septum is ulcerated there is fitted smell the discharge is thick ropey greenish yellow tough elastic plugs from nose leave a raw surface patient complains of drooping from posterior nares and there is much hawking there is loss of smell and inability to breathe through nose fourth is pulsatilla there is coryza with stoppage of right nostril and pressing pain at root of the nose patient complains of loss of smell there is large green fitted scales in nose nasal stoppage in evening and abundant yellow mucus in morning patient is usually thirstless fifth is silesia there is sneezing in morning dry hard crust forms within nose bleeding when loosened nose feels obstructed with loss of smell there is aggravation by cold and amelioration by warm sixth is sticta pulmonaria patient complains of feeling of fullness at the root of the nose there is dryness of nasal membrane with constant need to blow the nose without discharge dry scabs especially in evening and night there is aggravation by sudden changes of temperature treatment of chronic sinusitis can also be done through proper constitutional remedies if you want to learn about various constitutional remedies you can click here so these were some of the effective homeopathic remedies for sinusitis if you have found value in this video Please don't forget to like and share it with others. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so now. Please provide your valuable feedback. Thanks for watching. Bye.